So in this video, we're going to look at a piece of software that's free. It's available on all the AUT computers around the campus with an engineering image on it. So all the WS computers, uh, a lot of the ones in Tech Central as well. It's called MicroCap. Uh, it's made by Spectrum Software and it's great for circuit analysis and circuit theory. So what does it look like? Well, it looks like, um, bear with me, this. This is MicroCap. And it's a little old, it's a little clunky, um, but it works really well and it makes nice diagrams and it can tell you easily if you've solved your mesh um, current or node voltage um, circuits correctly. So where do you find it? Um, if you just go to Google, if you just um, put in microcap student version, this is for your PC at home, then you can go to the Spectrum Software uh, website and you can download the basic student version. Um, seeing as I've already got uh, one of these here, um, to build a circuit you just drag and drop stuff. So um, a, a, quite a few common components uh, are up here um, or you can use the keys. So resistors, you can um, rotate them using the spacebar and a little box pops up every time you want to put something on and you can input values. So you can put either a thousand or you can put 10k it recognizes that so I'll put uh, sorry 10,000 or 10k it recognizes the k as a thousand and I'll put another one in this is just an example and you just draw your circuit like that this little button up here um, does the wires you can do batteries or voltage sources um, voltage sources you know like the round ones like this um, I'll just do a battery and you say how much is it or I'll, I'll make this one a 12 volt battery and if I join my circuit up, I can do an analysis on it and I can find out all the currents, all the voltages, everything. So if you ever get given these as an example question and you need to check your answers or anything like that, this software is brilliant. So what you can do is you have to make your circuit and it has to be a complete loop before you're allowed to do any analysis on it. You also, before it will let you do anything, um, you have to put an earth on. So if you go ground connectors ground you have to put one of these on and normally I put it down the bottom of any voltage source you can put it anywhere you want in the circuit so you have to put one of those in and that's it so to actually use the software to run the analysis um, you have to run the circuit first and so what you do is you go up to analysis transient and then don't worry about these buttons too much I'm sure you'll come across them more later on just go run and this graph pops up, which doesn't really tell us much. Don't even worry about that graph. Um, you can use it for really cool graphs, but we'll go into that later. And if you go back to the circuit diagram, you've got two tabs down here. One of this is the graph. If you go back to the circuit, it takes you back to the circuit. Now it's, it's run, it's crunched the numbers, it's run the circuit. And now, before these buttons were grey, but now they're highlighted. And so this one says node voltages. So this, if you click on it, will tell you the voltages at all the nodes. And so this one here, this node, is 12 volts. And this one here, all these points in the middle, and highlighted in blue, are all at 4 volts. And because of this is connected to ground, and this is connected to ground, this must be at 0 volts. So that's told you every voltage at every single point in the circuit. If you go up to this button here, it'll tell you every single current in the circuit. And you can make it really complicated as well. The, the U stands for micro. So this is 800 microamps or 0.8 milliamps. And it tells you the direction. That little blue arrow means the current's going that way. So it solves the direction of the currents for you. You can do the powers as well. You can say, well, that used 6.4 milliwatts. That used 1.6 milliwatts. Um, the power gain from that voltage source must be um, equal to the power dropped of all those. And there's um, another button there for conditions. But this um, will get you through almost any little practice circuit as long as it doesn't have complicated weird components in it and it's a great way to check your answers and assignments and it's free and available to anyone. Thanks very much.